Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about whatever, whatever we, we want. want. I'm clapping because we have special people in the room. He's very special. Ooh. It's Bart and Joe! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's back! Anthony's back! Julia's here! <laughs> no, I know, that's, but, like, uh, that's worse. Yeah. That's a consolation prize right there. <laughs> I'm here because there's not enough people, that's why. Um, we like you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you like contribute. You. Yeah, they like you too. Why'd you pause after? Huh? Why'd you pause after? I paused? Yeah. <laughs> you like thought about it. Thought what about? What? When did I pause? Like at what part of the sentence? After you said contribute. Yeah. Really? I mean, Just like I'm, that. Uh, it was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you thought the really in your head after you said it though. I said really, and then I said really, like that. Yeah. Maybe I had to say it in my head and rehearse it before it came out of my mouth. Have you ever had a guest so that was just yeah. horrible? Fuck yeah. yeah! Yeah. Multiple. And if it's never made it to the air? Uh, no. Nah, we let the audience see how fucked up they are. Yeah. Oh. We like who? Well, you know, it just was. Kidding. You're gonna have to watch all the videos. Kidding. <laughs> I no, mean, I mean, we've talked shit before. I mean, we'll I talk shit about them, too. I have not. There's been a lot of guests, and if you don't see them come back, it's usually because they got too famous, or we don't like them. That's not <laughs> true. Those are not the only reasons. They're probably, well, the too famous is because they're busy, or... That's true, uh, though. They got too famous. <laughs> well, it's not that they don't like us. It's, it's hard. Well, for one, um, we're like in buttfuck nowhere for a lot of entertainers. Yeah. Yeah. We're very, we're, we're fucking far, right? And in like LA, we're, we're really far. It takes people like an hour to get here and they don't want to do that. And most people, if you're on a podcast or any type of show, like you're in there like an hour max and you get the fuck out, right? Mm -hmm. But for us, dude, some of the sessions last four to six hours. You know, I was this close to eating Randall Park this week. <gasps> and then, and then uh, I was, he's like, oh, how long are we going to be shooting for? I'm like, oh, it's, it's fast, like 10 to 6. And he goes, oh, the shit. The whole day? Yeah, and he was like, um, if it's like an hour, I could probably squeeze it in. I'm Just like, tell him to come for an right. hour. Yeah, I'll that's four episodes. Four I don't know, episodes. maybe I'll, I'll, I'll ask Randall in two weeks. Hey, thanks, Randall. It's because you're not here. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I can't well, believe you offered a whole day session for <laughs> Hey, we were talking, we were buddies, and I thought, I thought we were Bart, going. that's... That's that's diving in too deep. We can't fuck on the first date like yeah, that. Yeah, you're too we've thirsty. Been, we've been fucking doing cyber sex already. Yeah, but that's not even the first date though. True. I haven't even met the dude. Have you met the dude? No. Oh, cyber see, sex. you haven't even met the dude. But at Instagram, you don't meet anyone. Yeah. But that's a long commitment, man. Ten to six. <laughs> but you guys haven't ever met Randall yet. No, I never. Not in person. Isaac almost came out in a skit with him when uh, Randall was doing a skit with Wong Fu yeah. and he was playing Santa Claus. The, the little kid in that skit was supposed to be Isaac, but he had school. Randall's been in a Kinja's performance before. That's dope! Yeah. He was a host of a Unforgettable Gala, you know, that uh, um, Korean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before it, before it was like Korea Asia, it was like for mainly the Korean, like. Uh, I remember. Yeah, and he was a host one time, and we were performing, and they wanted us to make sure that the host was somehow revealed that like, so we, we like had to meet up at Tech, and we're like, hey, Randall, uh, you, you're gonna close our show. So then we like gave him some of our costumes and stuff, and he, oh, and he was like cool. mad cool about it, and became That's a host. Dope. And I was like, oh. yeah, he's really. And then he did down fresh down. off the boat, so we were like, oh, oh hi, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's super hi. down to earth. He's, he's super chill. My favorite um, Randall Park thing that I've seen is from The Office when he was playing Jim. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> You're not Jim. This <laughs> is Jim. <Yeah. laughs> like, huh? <laughs> and Dwight was actually believing it. Yeah. He's like. I fucking love The Office, man. I I'm over it now. Like, I how can it be over The Office? So like, what? It's how can what, how can it be over The Office? So, yeah, the whole shit, yeah. <laughs> his whole arm cracked. Did it? I heard something. Maybe it was just. That's probably the chair. But um, I was making the sounds like. No, obviously I love The Office, but it's just like I've watched it now maybe like ten times through, and I can't for the life of me start anything else on Netflix. So I just keep putting it on, oh. and then I'm like, because I'm starting to like hate Jim. Uh, I, <laughs> I hate their relationship. Uh, Pam and Pam. They have the worst relationship on The Office. I like the relationship. No, why? Why? Well, why? Why do you think it's the worst? 
Uh, because she she held Which him back season? from his dreams. Uh, she was like super selfish. He wanted to go pursue something, a company that he started, and she she could have moved there. She could have found another job, but she was like, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to. But do she anything. but she did it in the end though. But hold she on. Spoiler alert. Hold on a second. He, he, he started this company without telling her shit, so she had that power. He was dishonest. Because, because he she was knew dishonest. that she wouldn't like it. See, that's fucked up. Okay. Fucked but then no, but then he then eventually it came out. It's like and then it was fine. But I mean like eventually like she moved for him as well too. No. Yeah, they tried it. For a little bit. And no, she didn't. And that's called a real Did you watch the finale? What do you mean, no, she didn't. She <laughs> did you watch the finale, bro? Yeah, they moved. He moved back. She was literally gonna cheat on him with the sound oh guy. Oh my god. Did, is that not what happened? No, no, watch what it again. season are you on? <gasps> season was the season nine. <laughs> He's just fucking trolling I'm now. Watching the Bollywood He's version. He's the Bollywood. <laughs> 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 did it just break out into dance? Like, yeah. Did, did she move? <laughs> That's are the you, call center, you, bro. That's legit? not the office. <laughs> huh? Are you legit like asking that, or are you just being a troll? No, because I remember she was literally like gonna cheat on him that with that. That was like guy. not even at the okay, end here. of it. Yeah, I know, but then. Uh, I don't think you even finished. Like, like, I'm close to cheating. Daryl moved, right? That's when Daryl came back and he was like, oh, like when when he kind of like slipped you out the office. the office ten times and you don't remember okay, the finale. Hold on. Hold on. And then, no, I remember the finale. They're all singing oh, yeah, in the yeah, office. Yeah. They're all having fun. They're all crying. Um, but then what's it called? Hold on. It. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. So this is to my knowledge. Then, uh, the title like, of this hey, off this the record is gonna be the Deem thinks he knows the office. Yeah. This is more important. Watch, I'm gonna go watch it tonight and you guys are gonna be wrong. <laughs> He's gonna watch 10 seasons. You're saying that she moved for him? Fuck yeah, dude, in the finale, in the finale, she sold the house without him knowing yeah. and surprised him by saying, we're fucking moving to Austin. That's dope. Yes. Oh, but it's not Philadelphia. Ugh. Which the, they all the, went oh, to Austin. The, the whole thing the moved to Austin. The building, the toy building? Uh-huh. That's the office that, in, uh, that he know. had his office in in Philadelphia. Oh, really? Yeah. What? That was a... Great segue. No, see, they had their office in Philadelphia, and then I think they moved to Austin. Trying to get away, Julia. Oh, yeah, watch Don't it. let them get away. I watch, but still, still. But the point is, so much the shit. point is, that's a real relationship where there's compromise exactly. and stuff, and that's why people like it so much because it's relatable. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it do you not remember the? Boring. Do you not remember the you press conference? Boring. <laughs> I need that. that Single young man. That Holly. <laughs> That Holly uh, uh, and uh, Holly Baxter, she's yeah, cool. That, that relationship, that's a. Cool. That was hella cute. I thought he was, she was cool. Yeah, I. I you didn't like fucking Angela and fucking D uh, Dwight? I, I love that, that too. They're the <laughs> best, because their forbidden love yeah. is so fucking <laughs> funny. They literally dude. make it forbidden themselves. I know, that's why it's so funny. And they have this dude, baby. So <laughs> that's so tight. Dude, and then like how Angela got married to a gay politician, I'm like. Oh my god, so and then good. Oscar, oh my yeah. god. I love that show so Oscar. much, I love so it. Good. But I just hated it once Michael left, how Andy, like they wrote him as if like he's like the replacement Michael, where I'm like, no, just be Andy. What the fuck are you doing? Mm. There were so many lines where I'm like, this is such a Michael line. Mm. I hate it. But like, I, I, don't, I don't know how true this is, I actually didn't read up on this, but like I heard that they made, they wrote Andy a very despicable role at one point in time because like, I think he ditched the office to do like the hangover or something. Or like, I think he made a commitment oh. to the office and then he was like, oh, but the hangover content, I'm gonna go to the hangover. Yeah. And then I think, I, I don't know. I don't know, it could be pure speculation and rumors, but that's kind of what I heard, which is why he was like on a boat for like, I don't know, like a whole season mm -hmm. at one point. Could be, they do that sometimes where like, if yeah. someone uh, has a personal issue or work conflict, they have to kill the character off right. or write him off somehow. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, which makes work. me wonder like, if it wasn't for those like situations, how would the show actually pan out? Oh, like if it was perfection? Those, those exact situations make a show though. Yeah, because people know the backstory, yeah. all that. Fucking 10 years of shooting, you know, you can't- like, You get bored. Know. But it would've been funny, like imagine you're watching Game of Thrones and just Jon Snow's like, oh, I'm just gonna take a break for- <laughs> yeah. well, There's that one season where uh, Daenerys Targaryen, I think she was going through, uh, I forgot which mental illness she had, but- uh, Oh, she had, she had a, some, something with her head. Oh, she it was like a tumor like a, or yeah. something. Tumor or something, like, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. And then she, uh, yeah, they, they had to minimize the, her during, during the entire season. Yeah. Damn. Or even back to the office, I think it was season four when uh, Angela was actually pregnant. So every single shot in the whole season never shows her. Uh, oh, yeah, I always find mid, it so obvious belly. too. It's always, like, it's always like looking over the cubicle walls at yeah. Dwight and stuff. Oh, and the whole was. season, yeah. Did they really shave Meredith's head? No. no it was a ball you could tell it was a ball cap. Oh. Yeah, but Jim, they just like a week ago. Put out that. No, uh, that's actually way old. It right. just, it just. I just made it resurface, yeah, but uh, in uh, season three, three, he had a wig the whole time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes I feel like 
a little too stressed out and I need to take a break. And this video is brought to you, today's <laughs> Off The Record is brought to you <laughs> by Feels. Ooh, what's yeah. Feels? Take a break, Joe, take a break. So I had to, I had to discover, when I discovered Feels, it helped me out because it basically, I get stressed out sometimes. I need to take a break. I need to just chill. And if you guys are wondering what is the Feels, Feels is a premium CBD delivered directly to your doorstep. What does Feels do? Feels naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. If you guys ever had CBD before, that shit is so relaxinating. It like okay? relaxes your body, right? Yep. Which kind of in turn, like it, it ends up affecting like your emotions too, because your body and your emotions are connected. Yeah, yeah. It, it just chills me out. It's a real chill pill. Uh, so easy to take. Mm -hmm. You place a few drops of feels under your tongue. It's like an oil, it's like a, it's like a, kind of like that. And the feel, and feel the difference within minutes. The thing to remember about CBD is that finding your right dose is important. And everyone's dose is different. So leave room to experiment over the course of a week or so. You may need to take more or less to get the effects you're after. There's real human support. Are you new to CBD? Well, Feels off offers a free CBD hotline to help guide your personal experiment. Experience. Wow. <laughs> you can feel better naturally. Feels works naturally to help you feel better. There's no high hangover or addiction. And I can attest to this because I use it. So membership, join the Feels community to get Feels delivered to your door every month. You'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel at any time. Become a member today by using uh, by going to feels.com slash off the record and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash off the record to become a member and get 50% automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels dot com slash off the record. Woo! I want to try it. It sounds yeah. really dope. They gave us some. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to try it. Yeah. And then, uh, the word, guy though. that, yeah, Sorry. dope. Guy that you sent me a DM wanting to know what's the CBD product that we talk about. There you go. Ooh. Oh, CBD helps me sleep. Yeah? Yeah. I like it. Um, I've been doing it in my teas. I've been putting a few drippity drops here and there and then I sip it and I get to relax. I've had a yeah. CBD drink when we were in, in uh, Portland. Oh. And I was like, whoa. Does it taste weird? Weird. Uh, I don't remember, but like I, I remember no, I feeling weird about, about my body because I wasn't accustomed to that because my entire body totally was light. relaxed. Yeah, it's very light. It was relaxed, but like, but like my mind was clear because mm -hmm. I know what high feels like and it was like, my brain was normal, but my entire body was like, like jello. That. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I, for me though, I think that I adjust and build tolerance extremely fast. So then my doses has mm. to get higher and higher. But for me, I just like, I just kind of chill. And then I, I do it like once a week or just here and there whenever I feel like I need to mm. relax fast. Yeah, I just can't yeah. do like weed anymore. Why? Like, it makes my body feel weird. Like, like smoke it? Smoking, ed edibles, anything. But I was like, let me try like CBD, but I haven't, I still haven't. Tried how does it make your body yeah, feel? How does it make your body feel? I, so it's warm. supposed to like relax you, right? Like make your muscles and everything? Oh, uh, not always. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. So, uh, Depends on the weed. Yeah, uh, some of it makes you hype. Every, I've tried, I've tried everything. You get conspiracies too. Everything gives me conspiracies with that. Like with smoking, it keeps me awake, but then like, say like really my traps are tight, awake. right? Uh, and I smoke or do anything, whatever the strain is. Uh, it's supposed to relax you, but I feel mine like tied up. <gasps> that happened like to me this. with morphine. Oh Whoa. shit! Yeah, it tied you up? Yes. Whoa. Yeah. So what's like, what's morphine I, supposed to do? Well, relax you. Like that. It's like because like, it's, it's an opiate. It's like a yeah, like the cousin of a heroin. Like mm. oh. Yeah. After I got my appendix First taken cousin. out, I, uh, I you ain't got an appendix. Yeah, I don't. Damn. Right. So I can't punch you there. No. <laughs> It's empty. It's like a hole. Is like, that is that like your first go-to when you when you like in self-defense you just punch someone in the appendix and hope that it bursts? Yep. <laughs> it's dangerous. Crazy. You can kill people, Mark. But like, but like, if you have a tight muscle, isn't it best to have like more of a topical application of CBD instead of like actually? Well, CBD, it? I haven't tried yet. So, but I'm talking about just like you know when they say like smoke and you can sleep, relax, your body feels like kind of like numb. Look <laughs> at the D went like this after he hit the joint. 
Yeah, that's every time. It's like he's like, I don't know why my like shoulders get all weird. fucked up. It might be, might be mental. It might not actually be your shoulders being stiff, but you being like really aware of what you were smoking oh, yeah. for in the first place. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I, it, it no matter what, even if I'm out, I don't, I'm not thinking about it. I'm not trying to relax or anything. I just feel like these parts tighten up. I feel like my back, like if I'm sitting like this, I'll have to sit like this so I'm not sitting like all fucked up. Um, and then every single time, the only place that it ever feels good is Hawaii. Oh. It's mental then. That's all mental. Yeah. It's regional for sure, actually. We in Hawaii and Luz Brown. Like it's in LA. Something about my traps, man. LA just makes this shit go this way. Damn, don't go to New York then. It's like right? high stress city. I, I like high stress though. Like what the fuck? It's not even, no, it's not, it's not a mental thing. It just, it just fucking doesn't feel good. So I, I, that's why I went to drinking and like alcoholism, so. I personally never tried CBD, but um, me and the cousins, we actually bought CBD oil for my grandma. Oh, because, crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, because like- She's she was, down with the weed? Well, I don't, I don't she think she- She probably doesn't even know what it is, quite, huh? No. Like, oh my she, God, you're you're drugging your grandma without her. I mean, she, she's in her yeah, like late 80s and like she, I guess she, at that time we, we didn't quite know what was what was wrong with her, but we just knew that she kind of had like a, a loss of appetite. And then like she was taking medication, but I guess she was taking the wrong kind of medication. Medication. So like it ended up that she had like gout or whatever, but at that time like gout I, I, It's like an inflammation that happens in your joints no. well, It's like and fluid and like crystallizes almost that oh, no. causes it to be painful when you're no. like big ass painful. gout feet yeah. yeah, and so like she she just wasn't um she just wasn't eating a lot, but she needed to eat something in order for her to take her medication. And so we were like, maybe we could just do CBD oil and like help her out and maybe help her with her appetite. So like we got one that was like specifically kind of for that, but did I, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't stay long enough to like quite know, but because I had to go, but like, yeah, we got it for her and she was like willing and then like, we're like, hold it there under your tongue for like 30 seconds and she was just like, like that and then, yeah. Yeah, grandparents are fucking useless, huh? Oh no! <laughs> Useless as grandma. They're not useless, they give they love. Because my grandma's like that too. We have to tell her to do everything. She's just sitting there. They don't have to do shit. They've lived their life. Now it's yeah. time for them to chill. I just, I just feel like there's, I know there's like hella old people that are down to do like drugs and stuff when they're way older, when they're not, when they're young, you know? Yeah. Kind of oh, like I nothing wish my to grandma do. was still alive. I'd fucking smuggle some weed to Japan and <laughs> fucking blaze with her, dude. Yeah, so many like older communities that are down to just try things for the first time, smoke weed all the time, you know, do like Would acid you? and stuff like that. Huh? Would you? When I'm older? Like harder drugs, yeah, when you're older. Probably. Fuck yeah. yeah. The only thing I'd be oh, concerned yeah, with is like getting a heart attack with that. <laughs> oh, I'll be like, if I'm at that age where I'm like, I don't really care about like yeah. going. I would. I definitely would want to try heroin or those hard drugs before. I have to know how it feels. Oh, like really? like hard drugs? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what if like, hey, you got like a week left? I think if it was like DMT and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Well, I feel like, like I'll do yeah. DMT if people are down and like I was in a safe environment. I'll do it right now if you have it. Yeah, yeah. I want to do it. Same. Yeah. If you have it, I'm down. Well, I heard shrooms is a similar uh, experience. It's, it's like uh, a thousand times less. They just eat a thousand times I more shrooms. I don't think eating a thousand times of shrooms is gonna do it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but during this whole quarantine thing, I think I I got better at controlling my states. What do you mean by state? Like, like California, California, Denver. <laughs> Denver's not even a state. Same California. I mean, like Hawaii. Like state too. State of feeling. Emotional state. Yeah, I could yeah. shift it. Um, just it's just like, inner. Happy, sad, happy, sad. Yeah. Like, like I could raise it up. <laughs> <laughs> Get angry right now. I couldn't do it right now. No, it's too strong. Yeah, it's too much work. Freaking angry and then jump straight to horny. No, 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 no. I don't want him getting horny. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's powerful. But like being <laughs> alone. Horniness is powerful. It's fucking crazy for, well, because I live alone, yeah. right? Yeah. So I can go now a whole week without actually any physical contact with anyone and I can control my contact with humans. If I want to call somebody or text- now that we see each other, we don't even touch each other. So you really don't have any human touch at all. Yeah, I literally didn't touch anyone for almost a month and the only wow. person that I touched for a second was Casey. What? Yeah. Did it make you horny? <laughs> nah. <laughs> but it was interesting though because um, yeah, I think it's just, it's just crazy when you don't have humans around and then it's almost like an addiction because it's a distraction. You constantly have emotions you can share with or whatever. Mm. But then when you have to work inward, then you start to discover all kinds of weird shit. It's fucking, it's crazy. About yourself? 
I'm sure you had a lot of discoveries. I want to know what these discoveries are. <laughs> it's hard to say because it's not a it's not a thinking, or th it's a feeling. It's like a different perspective kind of thing, like a shift in perspective. Yeah, and you're not talking to anyone, so it's more like um, you're not you're not communicating with yourself through words. It's more of like your 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 feelings inside. Do you talk to yourself your... out loud when you're at home? No, I might. I well, I you know, I mean, I just talk out loud or sing, but then I. Talk in my head, yeah. I discuss in my head, try to sort out a problem or whatever. I feel like a lot of people, most people do, but then the weird ones are the, I mean, not that they're weird, but some people don't have the inner thought. Mm -hmm. they, 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 have, they have they have a blank mind? They, they only see through pictures. Oh yeah. Well, I thought they were just dumb. No, like people, uh. <laughs> when they think, it's either using actual words where they're like speaking sentences. Remember we talked about this on JK News yeah. once. And then other people just see like images or like feelings. I like, see both. Like they yeah, think, both. they think in feelings and images versus actual sentences and words. Yeah, like uh, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, like yeah. most people do both, right? So like, if you think of a tissue box, you're gonna see a picture of a tissue box, but then if you're like, um, uh, like, oh, what am I gonna do today? And you're figuring it out. It's not just like random things. You're actually talking to yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Where other people, they just think like uh, workout, like bench, this, that, but it's not like an actual dialogue going in their head. Do you know it's a trip? So my whole life I had always done the nonverbal kind of thinking. And then once I started realizing that all these nonverbal thoughts were always negative, like negative emotions, and like self-loathing kind of emotions. When, and then once I realized that, I started actually putting in dialogue in my brain of like actual sentences and like making a conscious effort to be positive with those thoughts and then my whole like everything internally like shifted and it's just been a lot more positive. You're starting to control it. Mm -hmm. That's not I, good. I used, to, I used to just speak like, just speak very authentically, but then I got in trouble for it because I'll just say things without thinking, right? You know, when you like no say filter. shit without thinking. So I had to practice using English in my head, not just speaking from my heart. I'd like use English in my head to be like, that was the thing I wanted to say and then try and say it. So I had to practice that in like high school and on. And then now I feel like it's a fluctuation. Like having tact and what's the most effective way mm -hmm. for the situation. Mm -hmm. Totally. I'm like yeah. the opposite where not saying anything bad, but then I'll have, I'm so in my own head that I'll have these conversations that like, um, and I get called out it a lot, right? Even like say like we'll be talking about JK News and or anything, we'll just be talking with friends. I'll start saying things that are so out of what we're talking about because I've already had that conversation in my head. So I'm like, oh, we've had that conversation. So if I start talking That's about what like- what happens with Joe all the time. We have to catch up with his brain. Yeah, yeah. So it's like people, people aren't on the same wavelength as me, but I'm just like, I'm gonna, I just tell people, hey, I'm gonna, Go on a crazy tangent, just who gives a shit? Mm. You never come off as like hard to catch though. Not hard to catch, but like when we were at the at your barbecue of Father's Day, and we're in the in the jacuzzi, and I started talking about it, and everyone was like, why the fuck did you bring that up now? And I'm like, oh, I've been talking about that in my head for like 10 minutes already. So you guys are late on this conversation. <laughs> How dare you be late? Yeah. Oh, I do that for days.